Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, I just saw a ship go into our hangar bay, and I kind of want to look at it. So, while it's doing that, wow, my headset is really high up on the volume. Wowzers. Okay. Oh, that ship ain't too bad. Some of those ain't either. Now, if only I had the money to buy some. <laughs> Wait a second. That one looks... I, I'm, I'm probably not going to get lucky enough to get the money from the expeditions that it would take to get that. But we're... There it is. There's my expedition. Alrighty. Debrief the commander. Let's see what we got. A decent amount of money. We're up to the millions again. Got some indium. Not too terrible. Some units. A lot of units. A salvaged frigate module. Very nice. Relatticed arc crystal. I could sell that for a decent amount. Vortex cube. Could also sell that. Superconducting fiber. Sac venom. Activated indium. Dirty bronze. Viking effigy. All right. Well, we actually turned quite a profit on that last venture. Quite a profit, indeed. Quite a profit. I'm going to put that there real quick. Um, this I'm going to need for upgrades, so I'm going to put that there. This has its own little spot right there. Whoopsie doodle. That was not what I meant to do. I meant to grab this to do its placement there. And that should be good. And we can sell the rest of this except for the dirty bronze. The dirty bronze will have its own spot as well. I think it's right here. With lemonium? Lemonium? That is a hell of a name. But I think it's right with them. So it should be fine. Got 257,000 credits. Hells yeah. Alright, so. That done. Um, I think the biggest thing that I should be doing, of course, is searching these things for useful materials. Like that. And I shall put this away in the proper spot, which shall be somewhere here. There we go. It was there. <laughs> and then put that onto the freighter right there. Okay. So we have a salvaged frigate module, which will help us with upgrades. Which reminds me, I should see how many I need for the big thing, for the cool thing that will put us forward in the future. Purchase upgrades. What I need for the big thing is five of them. And I only have one of them. But. <laughs> uh, that one wasn't even... That one wasn't even that strong. If I was going to break it and make Reggie do work, I should have at least gone for a stronger swear word. But, um... <laughs> uh, Reggie will kick my behind either way. Anywho, onward we go. Should we send out another expedition? I honestly think we should. Let me look at how much fuel I got. Oh, I have plenty of fuel, and I can make more, even. I have tons of dihydrogen. I have tons of tritium. The only thing I haven't done is break all of these things. What do we got out of them? Iridescite and more lemium. Nice. Cool. We put the lemium here, where it belongs. And then the iridescite will also go into that tab but in a different place. I want to say... here. Yeah. That works just fine. Because this apparently gets made from aronium, right here, 
uh, Magno Gold, and Grentine. And then this makes another thing, these two things, but I don't know what. Also, speaking of things that I learned that are scientifically based, and I didn't know what it was about, um, because I am not all that smart. I might put on an air of being smart, but I am the big dumb. That is what is known. Um, ferrite is just another word for iron. Apparently, that's why iron is Fe in the periodic table. Never knew. Should have known. Actually, no, I shouldn't have. That sort of stuff doesn't get taught. At least not in the way it should. But, <laughs> the point of this story is I know that this is iron now. So, iron, carbon, sodium, oxygen, cobalt. Basically everything that's required for living, really. Basically about it. Um, I'm going to put that here for now. And I can hatch that egg now. Actually, now I think about it. Also, that Starship Band Pulse Engine Upgrade. Installing it. Would that get me in trouble? In places? I don't know. I didn't actually look into it. I want to look into it before I do that. Even though it's probably going to be very good. Mm, but it's so tempting to put it on. Mm, no, no. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I find out. I'm going to wait until I find out. And then from there, I will decide whether or not I want to keep doing that sort of thing. All right. Um, things I could be doing. Things I could be doing. I kind of... I don't know if I have enough silver for this... Uh, thought. I might. I might have enough. Um, what I want to do is open up this area a little bit more, so that way it's more flush with this wall right here. That's what I'm thinking. So, what I'm going to do is test my theory, if I have enough silver. Uh, I need 120 for each new addition. Mmm. I should be able to make this work. It's like three rooms. It's fine. It'll manage. Um, maybe if I do it as like this style. Match with that. Match with that very well, in fact. But mm, I don't know. Oh. Mm. Or maybe I could just clear this as what it was and then put these here. And there. That covers that anyway. And then this needs to be removed. Sorry. Just can't be sitting there. Well, I feel I like, I like that one. I, th I like that plan, but... Here is where it gets complicated. Because there's so many hangers-on on this side, among other things. Mm. I think I just want it straight on this section here. Yeah. Straight, long shot down this way. Yeah, that, that should be fine. What I'll do over here... I don't know yet. I'll figure that out. Anyway. Probably separate rooms of some kind, or some shape or form, right there. Something like that. That's probably a good idea. So now, let's go ahead and do those expeditions. Set them up for the next ones. Ah, Traveler Entity. Corvax is pleased to report exciting navigational research. Corvax has plotted new expeditions for your fleet. Well, let's see what we got. Got one for... 2,480 light years. An alloy loading exploration. Uh, 
I don't have enough industrial ships to make that work. But I do have enough ships to make the balanced expedition work. That one's more likely to bring in a lot of money. Because the difficulty rating is low, and I have a wide variety of ships, even if I only have three. So, let's give it a shot. Let's throw in the Azaki. The Ichuma's Mirror. It Uchima's, rather. Uchima. Not Ichuma. That was wrong. Wrong entirely. I just transposed the I and U over each other, basically, with that pronunciation. That's why I'm dumb. In the Ayabu's Vision. Okay, that... Should be plenty. Man, I need an exploration ship at some point. My exploration on those is always so low. At like 12. Yeesh. Alright. But I can afford it. So, off they go. And the... Stuff here gets put here. Fantastic. And I'll sell all of these things. Forthwith. Away! Alright. Cool. Sell everything. Well, not everything, but most of the good stuff here. There we go. Beautiful. And anything here that I want to sell? No. Not really. I got plenty of salvage data. Still have plenty of salvage data. I have 26 beautiful. Alrighty. And I had a feeling all the ships would be gone. Okay. So, to locate my contact with Apollo, or rather Apollo's contact to me, I gotta go out into space and locate them via the galaxy map. Which I guess is okay. I just at the same time I want to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind that could be useful on any of the planets that I'm nearby. Ooh, there's a planet back there. What's up with that one? It's a nuclear planet. Gamma root, copper, uranium, and salt. Uh, I'm no longer on the ship, so I can't tell if I have enough uranium or not. But I do have... Oh. Well, hi there. I do have an outpost on a planet nearby, so I can always come back using that. I just don't remember where it is. Yeesh. Where is it? Good gods. Okay. It's right there, on Iguchi. There we go. And there's still plenty of planets that I still haven't explored. So... I can come back. I can come back and do that anytime. But for right now, I need to go to the galaxy map to do the thing. Alert. Navigational data received. Oh. I see. Okay. I don't want the destination, the black hole. I want the one for the current mission, which is right up there. Expand that. Okay. Currently. Oh, it's one I've already visited. It's controlled by the Viking. The economy is mass production and adequate. Okay. Conflict. Rowdy. Uh, locate Apollo's contact is the mission signal. So away we go. Wee! Alrighty. Galaxy, I had, well, system I already visited as well. Okay. Might as well get a couple of these while I'm thinking about it. Um. Where is. Oh! He's on the space station. Okay, well. In that case. Might as well do this a little bit quick. 
just to build up a few supplies is all. Good so far. Oh, geez. Building up supplies a little bit as I just shoot willy nilly into this asteroid field. <laughs> what I do best. That did it. Beautiful. Okay. I should make sure to try and collect as much platinum as possible, considering there's very few places that I can get it. Very few ways as well. That's constantly and regularly going to give me platinum. Alright. Don't want to end up accidentally pissing those ships off over there. By accidentally shooting at them or something. That would not be good. Alright. And I think... That makes a good round of gathering materials. I think. A little bit. Just one more weapons charge worth of gathering. I'll call that good. Okay. Now I'll get onto the space station where I shall find this contact. Whee. And oh, here we go. Okay. That was a little wonky, but we managed to do it. Ah, look at that. Nine of those hyperclusters. I will be damned. I don't need that many of them. But there is things I will eventually need plenty of them for. So I might as well hold on to some of them. Whee! Okay. Let's see. What do you guys got on offer? Oxide Elevator Z17WY30. It is bigger than my current one. Bigger and more modules, but this is classified as a rifle. You classify that as a rifle? <laughs> Good joke. No, absolutely not. Not gonna. Nuh-uh. Nope, Billy. Nope, nope, nope. -ers. Gonna go in here, though. Find that contact. Warrior Munyang. Grah! Interloper! You are late! You were supposed to arrive minutes ago. Nonetheless, the price has been paid, and I have obtained the requested upgrades. New modules for your base and protection against the elements. Where is your base sighted? What sort of hazard protection meets your needs? I don't remember. I don't think the one I have on a Gucci has any required hazard protection. But if I'm going to go for anything, might as well go for radiation. Wisdom, Traveler Entity. From your expanded base, you will be able to explore freely and return from any station. May the light of the Atlas watch over you. Abula? 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 <laughs> Met 35 aliens. I think I'm going to be a little more flabbergasted by the fact I'm getting recipes and salvage data out of nowhere. Uh, huh. Wowzers. Okay, attendant... Uptrid, is it really you? Forgive me. I've been searching for such a long time. I am contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry, everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. 
As a stranger speaks, a smell assaults me. A pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took. Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone. Of this geck cradling their fallen brethren. Of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends, and the Overseer remains. The Overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. I'm not that far ahead yet, but, but I will be back. I do not feel comfortable hiring this Gek. Yeah, are you... Sh I'm... I'm... Don't even know if I can hire them yet. Or if, when I can hire them. For that matter. Oh, they're leaving. No. This is a big one. I don't... Hmm. Bit decently sized. I don't need it, but... I mean, it's decent. Wait. Oh, I can use a space station teleporter. Whoopsie doodle. Ah. Almost got stuck. That would have been bad. I can use this to get back to the base. This is the dusty planet. This is the tropical planet. Um. Huh. I think this might be the one. I was trying to figure it out. Then I realized, oh, it's showing the dates of which I did those things. <laughs> Oops. And that at least tells me how long ago it was. Gucci. Beautiful. Beautiful. Community research milestone completed. Oh, didn't know that. The egg is ready to hatch. Well, might as well hatch the egg. Build a construction terminal. Oh, so that's how I hire that overseer guy. Okay. But first things first. Oh! Look at the little baby! Maro... <laughs> Maroitzo. Maroitzo. Feeling peckish. Well... Oh no, I don't have any treats to give it. Oh no. I will fix that. I shall fix that forthwith. And build one more. Beautiful. Feeling peckish. There's some food for you. And there's a little more. And some pets. Belly happy. Oh. Aww. It's a little baby. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. You're very big, though. You are massive. You are a massive baby. <laughs> How did you even come out of that egg like this? My god. Alright. Let's, let's deal with that and dismiss Maros, Maroizo. Bah. A <laughs> suit creature. <laughs> suit creature. I, I, I find that slightly adorable and silly. I love it. Um, okay. Uh, let's clear these out. Because I could use the carbon at this point. There we go. And there's that. All right. Now that we've done that, I have a lot of salvage data on my person right now. <laughs> More than I ever thought really possible. 
Whew. So, also I noticed that I have that module as well that I can't really use yet, so I'm just going to put it right there for now. And... Okay. Do I have to build it on here? Because it strikes me now. I wonder... The freighter can technically count as a mobile base, can't it? Can I build it there? Perhaps? Maybe? This terminal is key to expanding your base. Well, I guess I'll give it a shot. See if it'll work. Well, all of these ships look like mine, but I know they're not. I'm sure there'll be some recruitable frigates, though. But I have a feeling I can't afford it. No, I cannot. It's fine. I will live without for the time being, because I do not have a lot of money to spend at the given time. So, might as well go to my capital ship. Buy a stupidly fast pulse engine. <laughs> All right. Might as well just keep on moving this way. And just line it up perfectly. Ish? Nope. Didn't get it lined up like I wanted. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It works out. It's fine. Alright. Like I said, I will eventually change that name. Among other things. But I think the ship's name might stay. <laughs> I think my starship's name might stay for a while. It's just so easy to make the joke. Ah. Interesting look. Oh, wow. That's a big one right there. God. Damn, that's big. But none of them catch my eye, and probably none of them I can afford. So... We'll just ignore them for now. And I'm going to test my theory on if I can build... I can! <laughs> I can. Oh, beautiful. Let's build it right here. Because why not, right? There's a whole bunch of terminals here already. Oh, and I can change the color of it too. <laughs> All right. Hire a base overseer. Well, I can easily do that. I know of one that was nearby. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking. I am having thoughts in my brain. I'm not sure if they're normal thoughts. I could do that. I could do that. I just need metal plating and carbon nanotubes made. And I can easily do that. That's not a problem. Alright. Well, first things first. Dump things that should be on the freighter. Onto the freighter. Alright. And then the gold as well. Perfect. And this I will keep here for now. Uh, okay, so metal plating, carbon nanotubes, I need four of these, and then two of these for that, yes, and then we change it to the color I like, because I am nothing if not a constantly demanding idiot, I don't know, I don't know where I was going with that, but besides the point, I can just put it there, and away it goes. I don't even need to put in wiring. It just gets powered by my freighter. It's nice. And then I can use this to at least teleport back 
to the previous system I was on. But, apparently, I can hire the Overseer from this space station here. In this system, as opposed to the one I was just at. Interesting. No, oh, It went bye-bye. Well, to be fair, soon so shall I. So, me. Away we go. Wahoo! And let's head to that space station. Which is conveniently close by. Okay, well, they are also conveniently close by, but for a different reason. Wee! Oh, jeez. Did you have to flip me? Was the flipping necessary? Okay. All right. Anilin Space Station. And then I have to go into this little section on space station here. And I talk to you. Secretary McGain. You don't look as cool as the other guy. Is it really you? Okay, so it goes through the same exact stuff. Alright, so I guess... And I'm assuming that... The whole thing, the whole setup, has its own individual systems that you can get these guys from. And they're all set up on every system for wherever you end up actually setting up. So, I get this guy. Cool. Hire construction overseer. There's something compelling about this gek. They shall feel at home in my home. I will be at my station before you know it. See you soon, friend. Alright. Cool. I guess I'll see you soon then. Buddy. Conscript Aachen. I, I demand a place on your throne world interloper. Acceptance will grant you the glory of an exocraft and a Viking mech priest. Okay. Uh, this seems to be about exocraft that I don't currently have. Alright. Scholar Entity. What about you? They reach out with a silicon hand and speak with calm menace. Good blank unknown life form. Please blankety blank blank. The core of X convergence blank me dangerous. I blanky blank blank. Life form seems worryingly unlike any other core of X I have met. Buzzing with an unnatural fervor. They appear to be asking for my help. The entity begins to sing a strange and solemn song. When it, is, when it is finished, they seize my hand. There is a flash of light, and they are gone, vanished from their shell. As is the way with these electronic beings, the empty husk is soon filled by a freshly downloaded entity from their convergence. For a moment, I think I hear a faint hum from within my exosuit. But when I focus, it is gone. Perhaps I imagined it. Uh, okay, then I'm now housing a random Corvax in my suit, is what I gathered from that. Well, alrighty then. That is what I'm dealing with. <laughs> eh, it's fine, I guess. Are those ships coming in? Yes, they are. They came in at a weird angle. Going through the damn star base here. But hey. Can't get it right every single time, right? I don't think so. Anyway, time to get onto my capital ship and... Oh, look at that. Some others are following suit. How do you move me to this one? When I was closer to the left, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'm not going to argue with the way the game wants to understand my trajectory. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay, another ship with that sort of setup. This one's red instead of the other one. I 
wonder. Oh, so this ship is kind of similar to that one. In that regard. At least in design. Okay, let's look at your ship. It's pretty sizable. Apparently yours is just a shuttle. And it has more slots than mine. Just barely, though. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be fine. And yours is probably also a shuttle. I prefer my fighter, thank you very much. Whoop, and I screwed up. I screwed up hard. Okay, well. Whee! Alright. Gonna head over to the construction terminal and talk to the overseer that I just technically hired. There we go. Hello, secretary, who seems to have his armor move up independent of his body. <laughs> you have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Except the glass. Huh. Shatterproof, scratch-resistant glass with a self-cleaning UV-cured coating for general construction use. Refined from silicate powder. Extract silicate from the earth with the terrain manipulator. Can be crafted from crossed, frost crystals. Crossed crystals was about to be what I said out of my stupid mouth. Extracted from plants on frozen worlds. I can easily do that. All right. Moving on. Everything pours through glass in the end. But there's time enough for that. There are other things to do we have to do. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. Hmm. Have to gather chromatic metal for the scientist, okay? Fair enough. Secretary McGain is already making themselves useful. A science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all just for a handful of chromatic metal. And I need to just collect it. So I could just pull it from my inventory here. And just put it here. Hmm. Huh. That was quick. There you are again, traveler. I'm sure you have the required materials this time. The overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such meetings. I ask who paid them for the service they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did, many years from now. Uh-huh. What? I... Uh-huh. What? <laughs> you're, you're pulling my chain. You're pulling my chain. I do not know what they are talking about. The overseer asks me for the chromatic metal. Well, I can give you that. Perfect, friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. And I can make it now. Oh, they only needed 40. Hmm. Interesting. Alrighty. Fair enough. Now I have the blueprint. Then I can make one, I'm assuming. We have littered the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception. But there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container that I already have. Interesting. Secretary McGain is reflective for a gek. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something else? 
whatever their motive. The overseer claims I will find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. Okay. You won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploitation. Build the science terminal. Okay, I can do that. Uh, be under specialist, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. And now it's allowing me to make the thing. Ha ha. Uh, where do I put it, though? Oh boy, I have so many spots that I could. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where I want to rotate it like. There we go. And I guess we'll just put it against the wall here. Since that works, I guess. And it's already set for the colors I want, so okay. Built! Hire a base scientist. Is that... Ah! It's also on the science base. Or rather, on the space station. That's what I meant. Brain is hard to make words good. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on from the fact that I can't English. <sighs> okay. Actually, you know what? Yes, curious. Is... Okay. You know what? I'm going to move this to this. There we go. Because I'm pretty sure that's where it should go. I'll put this here, just because I want to. And let's go to the anomaly base real quick. Actually, my ship's over here, so got to do a quick little jetpack jump over to here. And... Oop. There we go. Didn't go quite the way I hoped, but got there in the end. All right. Let's see. Where is that anomaly currently sitting? It's sitting over... Oh, it's sitting over there. That's a little too far, don't you think? Especially since everything I need is right over here. So let's bring that a little closer, shall we? Right there. Ha ha ha. And we'll head over here and use up all of this salvaged data. Significant salvage data accumulated. Yeah, I'd say significant. That is a hell of a ship. All right. Whee! Let's go ahead and use all of that. Okay. What should I use it on, though, is the question. Um, well, I did say... I wanted this, so we'll go with that. Metal plating and ion battery. Interesting. Okay. I could easily do that. Uh, antimatter reactor. Hmm. Well, I mean... Technically, some of these I'm getting for free from... Wait, wait. Wait a second. Oh. Saying I have 31 left after buying that... <laughs> that one thing. Okay. Alright, that's fair. 
That is fair. Um, let's go for the metal one. Metal window pane. Cool, because I'm pretty sure this is separate from everything else. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I won't even bother getting those anymore. Let's get a large hydroponic tray. Self-contained growth system from the for the indoor cultivation of agricultural crops. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. Beyond that, I don't think I want to get any more in there because I don't know. <laughs> I'm running into the problem that I don't know what uh, the game will give me in regards to technology now. So I don't want to end up wasting salvage data. Okay. Well, we'll call that good for now. I think that's good. And I will get onto my ship again. And fly on out of here. Cool. And actually, it is a little over time for this episode, so I'm just going to end it here for right now while I head back to my freighter. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so you can bring more people... Alright, let me try that again. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button. Let me just try that again as a normal person, shall we? Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying my damnedest to get everything taken care of with this new contact of ours who is allowing us to build a sizable base with new tech. Uh, we'll be doing it from the inside of our freighter as we slowly but surely upgrade the freighter so that way it ends up being a mobile base in and of itself. And from there, well, we'll see what else I need to do uh, in regards to helping the galaxy or whatever I'm supposed to be doing. Also, I forgot that I'm supposed to get a scientist from the space station. Oops, I'm going to go over there first and then I'll start the next episode, I guess, for you.